Hello guys, good morning and welcome back. Alright, so it is no longer news that Nigerians will be eligible to be monetized from next month being June 2024. So um, this is um, a video that I didn't fit to make for us to learn the basic things you need to know before you get monetized or why we get monetized. Now they I have received several videos, several requests from people asking me how they can go about it. Now the first thing you need to know is that you must have a Facebook page. This Facebook page is something that you can create on your own, right? You can sign up on your own. You don't need anyone to help you to create a page. It's as simple as A B C D. As long as you have a profile, when you click on your option key, you will see where they wrote pages. You click on page and create a new page. It is not hard to create a page because if you don't know how to create a page, I don't know if you will know how to run the page. So there are some things you should do by yourself. Don't allow people to cloud your mind to help you to do those things, right? So when you create your page, there's also what they call page customization. For example, um, display picture, the banner, you know, the detailing of the page, putting your number, contact, and everything. These things are simple. You can do them by yourself. So when you have owned the page, you have done your settings and your customization. Now, the next thing to do is to start posting. Now, when you want to post on a page, you don't use Facebook um, um, app to post. It is advisable to use business suits, the Facebook business suits, that's the meta suits to post, or you use Chrome version of meta suits. Now, why is this so? Now, this meta suit will help you to tell you, especially for those of us who will be posting contents that are not theirs, contents that probably they took part from someone else's content to include in theirs. Now, there are a lot of con content creators that copyrighted all their videos. To the extent that you cannot use any part or form of their video without being copyrighted. So when you use Meta Suit or Chrome version of Facebook Meta Suit to upload, the Meta Suit will indicate if this video you are posting has a copyright issue or has an issue at all. So you'll be able to assess the full um, options and security-wise nature of the page from the Meta Suit. But if the content is serious, there is still nothing wrong by posting from the Facebook app itself. So when you are posting from the Facebook app, there are also some things you should know. When you post, you need to use a good title and a good description. I will make a video differently to show you guys how to get titles for your videos and how to get description for your videos and possibly the relevant hashtags. That video will come later on on this um, channel and Facebook page as well. So when you do this, now you will have, um, you have posted. Now, before you get monetized, there are also some requirements that you need. Requirements like having five active videos, meaning you must have posted five active videos on your page. Then you must have, um, 5k followers, 5k followers on your page. Then you must have gotten 60,000 watch minutes. Now, these are the major criteria, the three criteria to use to be eligible to apply for the monetization. Right? Now, bear in mind that you might use one video, two videos, or three videos to achieve these criteria. Some persons might use 20 videos. Some might use 50 videos. It, it all depends on how um, viral your videos went and how interesting your niche is, right? Now, when you have decided or when you have gotten these requirements, now they you now start applying. So before you apply, there are also some documents that you must have. Now, these documents will save you the stress of calling someone to help you to apply or falling into the hands of those page managers who might ruin your page for you or who might not be willing 
to do it for you as a token. Some will insist on doing it on a percentage monthly um, level, time 70 30, whereby they, you take 70%, why they take 30%. Initially it was 20 80, but now it's now 30 70 because of um, that, that's um, tax they might be paying on the account. So now, when you have gotten the, mon the monetization requirements, now the next thing to do is, is to apply, right? And when you apply, it takes like barely two days to get approved if those um, videos are yours. And once you have posted those videos and they are yours, then there is what some persons do that militate against their page that they don't know. Now, Facebook does not allow cross-posting. What does it mean by cross-posting? Cross-posting is, for example, you have a group you are, you are into. You have like three groups or ten groups you are into. And when you are posting on your page, you now select those groups at once to post on them. It will not count. The views that those other groups generated will not reflect on your main video. Right? So Facebook is against cross-posting. But then, if you want your videos to be up, up, um, um, visible to other groups or pages, what you will do is, first of all, post on your page first. Allow the post to upload on your page first. You cannot share to your other groups or pages or any other portal or any other site you want your video to reach. But when you are uploading it directly, please don't select any other group or page or account or profile. Allow the video to be posted on your profile first. So Facebook will know that whatever views that comes from sharing will be redirected to your page because when you're when you're selecting those other pages the link that will be generated to add those views on that screen will be shared so by so doing your earnings or whatever be the views you get will not be properly calculated so they had to go against what they call cross posting cross posting Posted in two or three different groups at once. It's called cross posting. It is not allowed by Facebook. You can do it though, but whatever views you get there will not count. It's better when you upload, allow the video to be fully uploaded first on your page. They cannot share to those other groups you have belonged, right? So if, if you can notice, most of the content creators which you know we tell you, please help me and share, help me and share, help me and share. You get. Now, don't forget that they have access to some pages, to some groups and some profiles, but you can't see them post it on that page directly. They only share. So that's the reason behind this. If you don't know it, you will be having issues on your views and you will not be, you will not know when, where it's coming from. So once you have gotten to this, you have known this now, then you start being consistent. You start being consistent. Consistency is the key. If you want to approach or reach your watch hour faster, it is advisable you post two or three videos on a daily. Now, the reason for this is because a video you posted in the morning might not move, but the one you posted in the afternoon might move. Likewise, the one you posted in the afternoon might not move, but the one in the morning will move. So, and next thing I want to tell you is that don't beg people to um to follow your page right you can tell them to follow your page but don't be desperate begging people to follow you begging for followers doing follow for follow you know follow me and follow back by my speed those things are not needed they are not needed when you are posting a good content people will follow you naturally they will they will look for your page and follow you i have seen some videos on other pages that it was very interesting People were asking, who owns this page? Who owns this video? Where is his page? Please tag the page. Let us go and follow the person. Because the content was good enough. Right? So, when you have known this, you can still, you know, make some other researches and know how to be consistent in your posting. So, whichever niche you want to belong to, there's no problem. Just be consistent in it. Be creating videos often. And also try your best to be coming on, coming on live 
you know, uh, make normal post write-ups, you know, also use your page to react to other big profile pages. Use your page and follow other bigger profiles on Facebook so that when you interact with them, it tends to make your visibility to be high. Do you understand? So you don't need to pay anybody to learn how to end on Facebook. You can do this by yourself and get to know it by yourself. I did not pay anybody to know what I, I knew now. I It was out of my curiosity. I went on research. I browsed. So I went on research. I, I browsed. I googled. I knew all the requirements needed to end on Facebook. So that is why I am able to teach you all of this. Now, the documents that you need or your, that you might be needing by June to apply for your page monetization is your international passport or your national ID card. Any government issued ID card is what they will require. Then when you get this document, you have to scan it. You have to go to a system, a cyber, scan it and have it in your mail or in your phone as a document, a picture. Then you have to go to corporate affairs commission, that CSC, and require or request or apply to get what they call TIN. TIN is T-I-N, that's tax identification number, right? So when you get these two documents, this is what you use to apply because um, Facebook will partner with um, our Federal Inland Revenue Service to be able to um, bring up a, a certain amount of money paid from each 100 USD you might be earning on Facebook. They, they, they tax, they, they have to tax for you to be able to continue with their payments. Now, when they talk about tax, some people are scared. They get worried. But bear in mind that even those content creators abroad also pay tax, right? Even me as a current YouTuber, I pay tax often to Dublin. So Nigerians, once we get monetized, we'll be paying tax to Nigerian Federal Inland Revenue Service, which is a normal thing to do. You can't be earning and you don't pay your tax. It's not proper. It's not possible, right? So having said this, now when you get those documents and apply for the monetization, it takes like two or three days to be approved. Then once you approve, but well, make sure that before you apply for monetization, all the videos that are not yours on your page must be deleted. Only allow the videos that are yours to be on your page because they will, they, they will run a check on your page to check if those contents has been reused or used initially by someone else. And once they detect it, automatically they will disqualify you for the next 30 days for you to take your time to appeal or work on your page for those videos they might have seen that are not yours. Now, once you get monetized and you start posting, some people will go and relax and think that they are not monetized, they cannot rest. No, this is when your work starts because the payment it does not come as a certain amount of money for every month. No, the payment comes as a result of the number of videos you upload in a month or in a week or in three weeks, depending on how you upload. Because each video is meant to fetch you money. Now, if those videos that you have has more views and adverts are placed on them, this is when you earn more money with that particular video. Now, some people will be confused. How do Facebook even pay? It's as simple as that. Advertisers, those that do Facebook adverts, they, they go to Facebook to pay to place adverts on videos. Now, Facebook will look at videos that are available at the moment and place adverts on them. So, the more the views you have, the more those adverts are being played. And each 1K view is $3. $3. Right? So, imagine you have 20K view times 3. You know how much that particular video is giving you. Imagine, let's say, a video is getting you $40. And you have 40 videos getting you $40, 15, 30, 20. When you add them up together, it becomes your money for the month. So it is an individual struggle that you need to understand. Don't assume that once you get monetized, you are good to go. You're going to rest and start waiting for your payment to come. No, that is where you get it wrong. The moment you get monetized, this is when your struggle continues. Your struggle comes into play. 
you have to be up and doing quick videos often post on facebook on your monetization button on and be waiting for your views to come right so this is all i need to tell us so so that we get prepared as against june 2024 when our nigerian um nigerian region will be eligible to be monetized on facebook thanks for watching guys see you guys in my next episode bye bye for now